Hey, Robin, before we get back to news, there's news about Saturday night. This person was out on the town and ran into Fred. Really? Yeah, hi. How you doing? How you doing? Pretty good. What did Got you see? Got a little bit of a cold I'm battling, but I'm doing all right. All right, what, what did you see Friday night? Well, I saw an incident Friday night. Jackie. I mean, Saturday night. Saturday night. I'm sorry, Saturday night at the Rainbow Room. Jackie and Fred were on a double date. Is that right? At the Rainbow Room. <laughs> you guys went out together? My anniversary. Oh, I didn't know that. And you invited Fred? My wife's anniversary. Yes. Your wife's anniversary of what? Our anniversary. Oh. <clears throat> Jesus. Go eight, ahead, yeah. Blissful years. Go ahead. The boys were all booted up. Everyone looked very nice. Right. Thank you, sir. But they weren't... They, uh, Fred didn't act very nice. What uh -huh. happened? Uh, well, he was in a quite heavy discussion with his wife mm -hmm. at the table, and uh, uh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes into it, uh, she got up and ran out, and uh, he smashed the table up. <gasps> you smashed Wait the table, minute. Fred? I don't think that's quite true, but uh, go ahead. Keep telling your story. What well, do you that's, mean that's not true? Did you get in a fight with your wife? I, I got into a uh, serious discussion with her, but I didn't smash it. And Jackie, you were witness to it? I he wasn't was there. On the dance floor. Jackie was on the dance floor. No, yeah. he came back after after the fireworks were, uh, were had already begun. Right. Really? Wait a second. Let me get this straight. Fred, you and your wife went out with Jackie and his wife. That's correct. For a Saturday night to mm -hmm. celebrate yeah. Jackie's anniversary. Jackie gets up to dance with his wife at the Rainbow Room. Mm -hmm. And what discussion ensues? And what do you do? You got into a yelling match with her? Not a, well, it didn't start out being a yelling match, but it kind of ended up being uh, into an unfortunate... I'm going to tell you something. One thing I know about Fred, he's pretty even-tempered. Yeah. I have never seen him really lose it. Uh, you should have saw it Saturday night. Huh? What happened? <laughs> she, and she left you? She stormed out of the room? and well, she, was... she got really upset and she left. And I went to try and collect her and uh, basically uh, I just left. Because yeah, well, did you, did well, you say well, anything well, to Jackie? Jackie, how could you not I tell me about this? No, well, this is a major yeah. story. It's Howard. It's Fred's story, not my story. <laughs> what do you Howard. Saying? You got back to the table, Jackie, and Fred was and gone. Fred was There's gone. a revolving dance floor at the Rainbow Room. Yeah. You're aware of that. <laughs> and we we got there and we spoke. You know, we had a nice conversation with them for like an hour or something. And yeah. finally, were we they said we had dinner with you? Yeah, we were having dinner. It was I we bet were, you Nancy instigated we it? We picked them up in a limo. No, we picked them up in a limo and went to the Rainbow Room and we were sitting there and. Uh, Nancy finally said, Look, geez, you know, we've been talking. We, we better get up to dance. We're never going to get to dance. Our food's going to come. So we got up and we started dancing. The room revolves. So yeah. we, it's like slow music. So we're dancing. And we the room takes a long time. To revolve. To, I mean, the dance floor takes a long time. To get back to your And by the time it came all the way back around. They were both gone. No. By the time it came all the way back around, we just came back to the table and Allison was sitting there. And, she and Fred was gone. And Fred, Fred was gone. And Fred left. They stayed another two hours that I know of. Without Fred. With Alice. Without Fred. Well, wait a second. Hold on. Let me get this straight, Fred. You mm -hmm. went after your wife because she stormed out of there. Yeah. I wanted and to then try, you... and try and straighten the situation out, but I was unsatisfactory with it. She seemed to be getting more upset, so I just left. <laughs> and she stayed with, with Jackie and Nancy. Which was probably a smart thing Jack, to do. Jack, what did you think? Were you bummed out the rest of the night? Oh, were you trying to control her? And I'm really her? sorry because it was their anniversary and it I was... ruined their night. What could you be fighting about? What, about the play again? No, it wasn't anything about that. What did you get a fight about? Uh, I bet you I've had I, this fight with my wife. That's, that's nothing I care to discuss. Oh, really? Is that bad? It's nothing I care to discuss. You guys getting a divorce or what? Not that I know of. Did you make up? Uh, yeah, we're talking. <laughs> Dude. That's not serious. Yeah, well, it's You couldn't even that, keep it together for Jackie's anniversary? Uh, was that bad? It was, it was just a Fred, you are odd, man. That's odd. I mean, you couldn't save that conversation for you later that You couldn't come back? It was one of those things that kind of escalated and just got away from us. He almost lost it. I thought he was going to lose it. And what did he do? Well, I, 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 think you're, I think you're projecting a little bit. Doesn't sir. sound like it. Wait a minute. You didn't see I mean, yourself. A, a, let me ask you something. Were you at the table hearing the discussion? No, but you were up on that landing, and I was only three tables away. Uh -huh, well, but you didn't really hear what I was saying, did you? No, but you could tell you were upset and you were well, arguing. You, so you didn't hear what I was saying. You answered my question directly. No. Well, what did you hear? hear? He saw you. He could what see I'm talking you. about well, what like you, you saw everything. everything. What you can see and what is being discussed are two different things. So you were banging on the table. He knocked a couple of drinks off the table. Is that true? So I guess that's a little bit different than uh, destroying the table. <laughs> that's a lot. That's destroying the table. Oh, that's, that's destroying the table. Okay. I go with that. If those are your terms of destroying the table. You knock drinks table. over on the table? <laughs> yeah. And you don't think that's destroying the table? No, that's not destroying the table. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Then don't come to my house. <laughs> Jackie, what happened when you came back from dancing? Like there were drinks all over the table? It's not, I want to know something. It's not like I did it intentionally either. Like I smashed the table. No, it was no, one no, of those things that was accidental. That. What do you mean? You sounds like you were flailing like, your arms. It was just an accidental thing. Because you were screaming. You could do that by just, like, 
having a calm conversation and knock a glass over. Yeah, but well, you knocked well, several. The, the accident was you were trying to hit your wife, but then you missed. Oh, no. no now now you're that. lying, man. No, I just... You're re now, that's, just, that's really bad. I what is it, John? I certainly hope in your lifetime someday, sir. What is it? Something like that. It's really weird. Get Fred's wife on the phone. No, okay, well, I got this call in the morning. I asked Jackie about it, and Jackie denied the whole thing. As if it's Jackie, what's your problem, dude? Oh, he's John asked, John asked if Fred had a problem Saturday night, and I said no. Why? He did have he a did problem. He did have a problem. But that's... So ask Fred about that. Mm. You know, yeah, you can ask not, that's not mine to share. Right. Oh, oh. You really get it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do get it. Yeah, I know you get it. If I'm out so with a friend and he I'm has a problem with his wife, to... that comes before the show. Sorry. I'm trying to yeah. get straight. Sorry. So now they're at dinner trying to celebrate their anniversary. Right. Fred and Allison have the fight, and Allison stays, and Fred goes. Yeah. And they have to sit now and take care of Allison? Yeah. Was she a basket case? She was upset. But we actually, you know. What a nice night. Did you eat? <laughs> I mean, dinner hadn't even come yet. No. Fred, didn't you care about Jackie's night and, like, the fact that you were ruining it? I did, but when I you, figured, when you leave it a table, I figured it was just smarter to just leave at that point. You were that irritated? I was that irritated. Yeah. Wow. I was oh. that irritated. It must have been a whopper. Uh, Allison's uh, not home, his wife. Really? He's answering the phone, at least. Oh. I get the machine. I get a feeling you guys aren't even talking. You don't think? Right. We you talked last night. We yeah. had dinner together last night. Yeah, yeah I feel so. And there were no incidents, and there were no upsetting of what any What would you be mad about? Well, you don't you ever get mad at your wife? Don't you? Yeah, but I'm fights? saying, what could you? you, you I've have never run out of time. I've never run out of never a left restaurant, a dinner. Well, especially maybe, in front of other then, people. Then That's pretty bad. Then you're a very lucky guy. Right. You're a very lucky guy. <laughs> what can I say? You think so? Yeah. I just would. I would be so embarrassed to run out it during his, it, on it, his anniversary. I wouldn't care about Jackie, and I wouldn't want to ruin his anniversary. It was embarrassing. Of course. Did you say anything to Jackie since Saturday night? I called. I called. Matter of fact, I called that night when I got home. I I left a message already to apologize, and I called the next day to apologize. And what'd you do when you went home? Did you just go to bed? Basically, yeah. I just kind of like sat. And what happened when your wife came home? Did you yell at each other? No. I put the discussion off until like the next day. Which you could have done earlier in the evening and had a nice evening. Well, right. Robin, when you're in the heat of the moment, and I'm sure that's never happened to you where you've gotten emotional about anything. I'm sure you've always been in control, right? Jackie, you must have been laughing your ass off when you got home, huh? No, he's a friend. Yeah, Why don't you like you some know, more? I just you know, find it funny yeah. that they were celebrating a wedding anniversary. Right. Yeah, and Fred, and Fred has to screw it up. <laughs> Isn't it great to invite it was them? absolutely very strange. Isn't it great to invite them? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the last time you get to celebrate anything? <laughs> you're just trying to get through life. And you got Fred and Allison having a drama. No, you're just trying to get through life and you got this guy calling the show. Oh. Hey, I'm just a loyal Eddie, listener. If you're, gonna you're, do you're just something a loyal like listener? Well, public. what about being a human being? Hi, Allison. Mm -hmm. What happened? What happened with what? How could you, how could Jackie, how could, I told you when you married Freddie was a nut. <laughs> now, see, now you're not being <laughs> nice. Man. What are you waving? What are you talking about? Now you're not being nice. Talking about Saturday night. You're not even being fair. You're not even being It was great. Yeah, you had a good time. Fred was at home. It, it was a great night. Fred went home and you cried at the table while Jackie and Nancy tried to console you. Sounds like another great night with Fred Norris. Who, no, I hear, who is you guys putting down every day? Now, this is something worse. Why? Why shouldn't the guy call her? <laughs> he's an idiot. Why? Because Fred's the idiot. He's running around no, smashing no, things on the table. Gosh, you want to you know, something? This, isn't, this ever... isn't being fair, and you're being but an idiot. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, because well, now you're stepping over the line. Why? You're stepping over the line because this, this is my marriage. You and should not. It. You should not be at a restaurant. Screw you! I can. I, it's, it's like it's none of your business. Man. You cannot treat your woman that way. You well, cannot. Well, now you're going to tell me how to treat somebody. That's right. The way you treat your wife. Okay. I treat my wife fine. Oh yeah, you treat your wife. Fine. I don't yell at her yeah, in public. No, I do it at home. Oh okay. Where I can really What's berate the her. Difference. <laughs> Why should I have some listener <laughs> looking at me? What's the point of calling me if I can't say anything? All right, go ahead and say something. Can I? Uh, yeah. I mean, the thing is that we had an argument. And it was it was unfortunate. Was it over something stupid? Huh? Was it over something stupid? It doesn't really matter. No, I'm, just, I'm not asking you what it was. I was it over like something? Having 40 million people know my 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 business. Well, then you shouldn't do it at the Rainbow Room. Yeah, why don't you use your head? Well, it just happened that you way. You got to know how to deal with Fred. I know how to deal with Fred. I know how to treat him in public. You no, know, yeah, like this. With no respect. <laughs> no, I just know how Fred gets. You don't know, understand. Think, you know what it is? It's you, like, you, don't, you can't just talk to you, Fred you in public. You don't know, yeah, you're treating me like a dog. Is what, that's, right. your, that's your answer. To that's exactly right. Well, you want to know something? I'm not going to take that. You have to take it. I'm not taking it anymore. You have to take it. No, I don't. <laughs> you have to. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. Is this the way it's going to be from now on? Yes. Well, then you want to know something? I have no business being here then. Yes, you do. Today's my last day. Really? Okay? You're Today's quitting the show? I'm quitting the show. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh, come on. You're over the line, and I really resent this. 
No, uh, we're not allowed to quit. No, 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 this I'm gone, just trying to no, straighten out your no, marriage. This has gone way too far. What, the guy called up no, and said you had a fight with your don't wife? I don't care. You're, if you're supposed to be a friend, you're supposed to, like, you know, like, know where to draw the line. If, I don't know where to draw the line. If you don't know where to draw the line. If you were a friend, then, then, uh, then if I you were a friend, I don't have you would understand that I don't know how to draw the line. Well, then you want to know something? Right. You should you should learn how. I can't learn how. Oh, so you're going to... I can learn how in my own life. I'm going to learn in your life? Maybe Fred can get a job at the Rainbow Room. Yeah. Why don't you just shut up and die? Oh. Oh, that's a... You're a goddamn idiot. Hey, just because you fight with Fred, you don't have to displace it and put it on this guy. Oh, yeah. Geez. Yeah, shoot the messenger. Yeah, yeah. shoot the messenger. Huh? Yeah, yeah, shoot the messenger. Life. I don't even know why the hell you're there to begin with. You're a piece of garbage, you know that? Hey, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think she's only a Jackie. I'm not Allison, what, what happened? So go ahead. We, we interrupted you. Jackie I'm sorry. Jackie and Nancy are wonderful people. Uh -huh. You spoiled their anniversary. <laughs> Why don't you shut up, Al? <laughs> you did spoil their anniversary. Why don't you just shut up? Freddie, you admit you spoiled their anniversary. I admit that. Okay, thank and you. And this guy is trying to ruin my life, and I'm not going to let you. You know something? Hey, Freddie, he's not ruining your life. You know why? Because you're leaving you know Fred? Buddy, he's dead to you. He's dead to you. He's dead to me. This guy was never alive. This guy is dead to you? Yeah. This guy don't he's care. He's never going to speak to him again. He's never alive. He's too insane. This guy's a slug. All right, what happened, Allison? Go ahead. You didn't have a chance First to explain. First of all, I'm not telling you what happened, Howard. Right. Sorry. All right, but you said you wanted to say something, and I interrupted you. The only thing you. I wanted to say was, Fred, don't, don't, you know, don't even go there because oh. it's not worth oh, it. Oh, Fred can't go there. No, I'm you upset him. Like, you upset my friend going anyway. to the point that. Excuse me, I am allowed to say what I want. No, you upset my friend to the point. I'm turning off your microphone. Well, you want to know something? Then I'm. I upset you. Here he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to handle right. him either, obviously. Turn off my mic, <laughs> I see your problem, Allison. There's no point in being here, right. okay? Right. Because I'm not going to have you explain this relax. part of my life. I see. But he just chill out. Don't yeah. worry. He's, I mean, he's already exploited our life. What's is that? Do? Is that how? <laughs> you know, I exploit your life. Right. Excuse me. He gave you that life. I gave you a life, sweetheart. I put you on dial a date and got you a man. He gave me a life. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that you gave birth to me. <laughs> I didn't give birth to you, but I know yeah, I gave life to you. I gave you. I gave Fred a life, and I gave you a life. Credit for everything. I gave you both a life. I know you breastfed right. me too, right? I uh, just about. I might as well. The world spins. Everybody well. needs lactate nourishment. That's right. <laughs> uh, Robin, Poppy, and Mommy. <laughs> so what happened? Tell me what you were about to say. No, I was about to. I wasn't really about to say anything. I Why was, did you fight I in public? Talk about this. Why did you fight in public? It, it just happened that way. You didn't know how to calm him down. You know he he is so easily set I think off. That you're being unfair to Fred. Who? You! Why? Howard? Because Absolutely. you're saying that she didn't know how to calm him down. It seems that she was so upset that Fred decided to leave for her sake. No, let me That's tell you exactly something. Why I let me tell you something. When a guy is so selfish <laughs> that he gets up, this is my feeling, he gets up in the middle of somebody's anniversary, he's invited out for yeah. dinner, you work out your problem when you get home, you say, hey, listen, you turn to your wife and say, you know what, we're in the middle of a fight. I don't want to bum these two out. Mm -hmm. Let's sit here. We'll mm -hmm. talk. I mean, what can be so bad that you can't wait but an hour to get to home and fight? But Allison, because Allison seems mm -hmm. to be the one who could not be consoled. Oh, so Fred was trying to calm you down. Mm-hmm. Well, then it's your fault. It is my fault, and I accept full responsibility. Why don't you mellow out with this guy already? You know he's not stable. Oh, will you stop? You want to know something, man? I've had it. I've really had it with that Tom. Wait a oh, come on. I'm kidding. No, no, I'm talking kidding. about a really serious thing, <laughs> All right. and you want to keep making jokes about it. <laughs> wait, that would have come down to I love you, man. No, I'm trying to straighten this no, out. No, you don't. I do. No, you, you love your show more. You no. love yourself more. I, I, I love that's true. Right here. I love myself more than you. <laughs> I understand that. All right, but I love you. That's okay. But you want to know something? I don't have to deal with this anymore. You really don't? No, because this is my life. This is my wife. We'll get you a new wife. No, screw you. I've seen you. <laughs> screw you. And screw We're going to get you another wife. I'll screw you. If I don't like this wife, I'm getting you a new one. Please. Now here I am trying to calm Freddie down. Robin. <laughs> It's Robin. up to me who you're married to. Oh, this is how I yes. live my life. Man. I mean, this, 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 is, this is way out of hand. I might, I might, this is way out of hand. I'm I don't telling know how you, he got Howard, I'm being serious. Really? Way out of hand. What is way out of hand? You are way out of hand. With what? You have Freddy. gone over the line. But what I line? I haven't said anything. No, you're just, like, you're just put, you're what have just I done? Continuing this situation. What Number situation? Number one, you should, you know, it's like. Oh, God. Fred, don't you I'm making you a movie star. Don't blow it now. I think I can deal with. I can deal without the movie star right now. Really? Because this is my wife. And I care very deeply. Why? We're not doing anything to her. She's just no, talking. not much. Freddy, you, you know what? You're upsetting her. You're, Would you listen to Allison for a moment, Fred? Well, I do. 
What? Please. Go ahead. Yeah, he doesn't listen. listen. To me. He's going to walk out just like he Freddie, did Saturday night. Freddie, <laughs> are you there? I'm here, sweetheart. It's this guy's fault. Just relax. Just forget it. Just relax. Don't get so crazy. It's not. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm Don't get so crazy. <laughs> I could take care of myself. Don't worry. I know you can, but you want to know something? There's just certain things. In yeah. that, that really don't belong on the air. And this is one of them. Like what? What are we saying? We don't even know. We don't even know. Million people listening. We don't know what's going on. We're just talking about the what was publicly seen on Saturday No, but it's night. more than that, and you both know it. Come I on. don't know anything. It's, right. like, try, it's like, I mean, come on. Ready? I think this Ready? goes back Ready? to she won't go off that play. That's my buddy you over there. that's a secret? That's right. Ready? Listen what? to me. What? Yeah. Fred, come on. Yeah. She, wait, let me see how she handles you. I'll see if it's good. Go ahead. Please, just, you know, don't get so crazy and irrational, all right? That's Allison's what I said. fine. Allison's fine. Fred, don't get crazy. It's not a matter of being irrational. It's just it a is. matter of, like, taking a stand at some point when it's you just are too taking, much. You know what? But it's really? like you're not taking a stand much. by getting crazy like this. What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's funny. Are you having a clue? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Both of you are clueless? I'm you clueless. like reasonably intelligent adults. <laughs> no, nah, not me. Not, I'm not as smart as you. Oh, oh God. Uh, Freddie, don't you what? get it? What don't I get, sweetheart? <laughs> I mean... E the pu the, your buttons have been pushed all over. Of the course, place. I know that. But it's like what I'm button? tired of. I don't even know what button I'm pushing. I'm tired yeah, of it. You do, Howard. Well, here's wait, the, a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Freddie. Freddie, Freddie Howard, you like... love pushing that button. Hold it. So, Allison, how I'm scared were you? Him. How scared were you when Fred stood up at the table and knocked everything over? <laughs> were you like freaking out? She had got up and ran before he did it. She <laughs> wasn't even there. <laughs> she yeah. cleared out. <laughs> but wait a minute. You're hey, a creep, man. You I don't even know how you live with yourself. Why don't you let the guy tell the story? Since he was so obviously the woman you were with was such a piece of bore that you had to like watch us. Right. Why don't you just tell the whole story there, buddy? He did already. I did. So Fred right. got mad. But I'm hearing from Fred that there's some deep-seated hostility toward you that he has not expressed. Oh, toward oh, me? Yeah. Like oh, to that? Howard Stern? Yeah. Oh, like I don't know what I did to him. Mystery yeah. Robin. Oh, I'm I'm telling you what I hear, Alice. I've wow. always been a pal. That's no mystery. I've he's always been a pal. To you that he's not going to take something anymore. I don't know what he's. Every saying. one of you broads who marries one of these guys who are my pals, you ruin them. You put all these thoughts in their head. Fred was fine until he married you. Yeah, exactly. Right. I know. <laughs> you're right. I'll and you're going to ruin him, like a, like like uh, Nancy ruined Jackie. Right. I know. Look, we're all crazy. <laughs> so you're going to ruin him. You know something? Me in in I'm going to have to get you two divorced. I've had it with this marriage. I'm tired of making love matches. <laughs> 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 what are you filling his head with at home? Why don't you let the guy have a relaxing night out? Oh. <laughs> I know, he's hard to deal with. Oh, All right. I, and, you, and you're a walk through the park. <laughs> hey, don't hear my wife be telling I knock over glasses in public. Hey, the view I'm is sure there are other things that you probably scared her to death so she won't talk. No, I don't. We have a very open relationship. Sure we talk about everything. I right, could have I'm run sure into you, you guys if you hadn't left. I was <laughs> with the rainbow room. You, you would have really <laughs> fixed them. You know, oh, I wish you had been there. You were with us the week before, and you said that we were perfectly fine. Yes, you? you were wonderful. That's why I feel privileged that I, uh, you know, got to get through a whole evening with you. you Here's uh, Jackie's tragedy. Nancy's on the phone. <laughs> oh, Nancy. I ruined Jackie? Nah, I not you. Uh, she's going to now heat up on me. <laughs> Honey, you guys, don't heat up on Wait, me, baby. You ruined Jackie. How did you, you know ruin Jackie? You know what I guess I gave him, I gave him a, a great job, and uh, I guess I ruined him. Think about what's the one... The one factor that, that, that has to do with all these things, Howard. What? What is that? You. Oh, you think I'm ruining everybody? You think I made yeah. Fred and Allison fight? You what? You is think I made Fred and Allison fight? Is this email? No. No. <laughs> it's brought it out to the public. What? What a piece of garbage that guy is. Next time. Next time. <laughs> where, where are you? She has nothing to say. Nancy, go back. This is not your argument. Okay, but I'm at Healy's Friday night and Skipper's on Saturday night. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Okay? <laughs> Just email me. Email me dirty <laughs> stories. Nancy, Nancy, thanks for the support. She's the best. Yeah, Nancy's the best. Because Nancy what? Why is she the best? She's great, Nancy. Because she's another actress like you. She's, uh, uh, two two wannabes. wannabes. She's two dialing. wannabes. She's dialing again. Because I'm turning their husbands into real actors and I'm getting real parts and real money and real show business. Two of you jealous house frows are sitting and working on these two I'm guys. Not trying to be supportive. As a matter of fact, I am so supportive. I'm so uh, supportive. You should be. I got you a job too, acting. Mellow out. You're right. You, you know what? I, I can't have my guys right. coming in here all freaked out. Freddie and Allison were getting along a lot better than when Allison didn't take nights off. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, try and turn it all on me. How Ready, y'all. Mr. Are high and mighty. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. You ain't going nowhere. It's not a matter of being high and mighty. Oh, just sit there. It's be quiet. Sit there and be quiet. No, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm not. I'm yes. not. And you're not my dad. Yes, you're not going to tell me how I'm to do I'm your daddy. That. 
Oh, you are. That's huh? right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I've got more for you than your daddy. You very well may have, Howard, and I'll be grateful to you that for that. But Thank I'm you. not. But I'm not going to listen to your bull. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you have no don't choice. Have to, I don't. You have to Daddy, listen. Why does it yeah, I do. you so much? He's just angry. What is that? He's, upset about? He's okay. upset about his I'm marriage. Upset, I'm upset about the fact that you're taking about a situation here. Yeah. That this guy calls in, and you're treating it like it's a bit. You want to know something? It's not a bit. My I'm marriage, curious. My marriage to my wife. Is not a bit. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I believe it is. Well, in your opinion, <laughs> it's not a bit. No, I believe it is. I believe it's a bit. What do you think? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. He's a piece of. Oh, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Say I'm a piece of garbage, Fred. No, I want to say. Go worse. ahead, let it out. <laughs> I'm torturing you so bad. You are. You, yeah, you go are. Ahead. Face it. You are. Yes. And you know it. Yes. And I'm telling you. Well, too and bad. What, and what really bothers me is that you don't care. I don't. I see that. I don't care. I see that. I don't think it's so bad. You One know. of my guys has a problem. I have to you step don't? in. I mean, yeah. Howard, there have been things that probably if you can't to handle your here. woman. I got to step in. <laughs> <It's got laughs> yeah, yeah. like you, you, you got your life you in control, so please. Funny. I got to step in. You're such you a big I had to help Jackie. Yeah, now I'm helping you. <laughs> these, guys, these guys are going to embarrass you at the Academy Awards next year. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. You Why don't you just shut up? Freddie and Allison fighting in the audience. Yeah. It's like, what have you ever done in and your Jackie's life, sir? Jackie sat there drinking his Heineken. He was cool as a cucumber. Well, gee, we're, we're so perfect like you, right, pal? Hey, yeah. Jackie's the one who first told me about this. Oh, he did it. Oh, of course. <laughs> Squealed like a pig on Monday yeah, morning. Right. And we were just waiting for somebody to call mm -hmm. in. Hey, right. Steve, you there? I'm just surprised you didn't squeal yesterday, pal. Hey, Steve. I've got a beat on the situation here, Howard. Go ahead. Allison is begging and pleading with him to calm down because she does not want to lose that good life. She doesn't want to lose a good life. That's right. Of course. <laughs> Let me tell you something. He dumps her. She's back to being a waitress. Exactly. I was a waitress when I, when I was married to him. So I don't think she cares, sir. No, she huh? cares. I don't think she cares. Fred, you just got to... You don't walk out of that room or else life is going to change. Sure, life is going to change, but life goes on, doesn't it? Your wife will leave you in a year. If she does, she does. She will. Three months. If she does, Three months. She does. Thank you, sir. That's the way Three it goes. Months. Three but months. I'm not gonna, uh, but I'm not going to have it because... because Why doesn't everybody just call in? Good. Mm. Why don't you two guys... Well, honey, there. the room was oh, packed that night. Can we do another press conference? Keep going. Have a press conference. Yeah. I love it. Uh, you do love it. You want to be a star? Now you're a star. Of course. Now well, I have 15 go. minutes of fame. Go ahead. Keep going. Mm. Keep talking. Who was paying attention to you? To me and Fred. Right. Exactly. Right. Nobody was. Right. Poppy, nobody. That's right. And Mommy over there. Yeah. Right. Jealous? Poppy and Mommy. Oh, dear. She wants to be on the show, too. Yeah, oh, she does. I love it. Listen to me. That's what she talks about all the time, Howard. Well, this is why you create a scene in a big restaurant. Oh, I told you. Exactly why. I you told you. How brilliant. You don't have, a, you don't have a scene right. like that in a restaurant. Let's go home. Let me tell you something, Matt Allison. What? You guys are both geniuses. <laughs> I told you when you married Fred, it was not going to be an easy road. I told you that. I'm not saying anything out of school here, because I Come said on. it. Are you a piece of cake, Howard? I don't say yeah, I am. He is. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm 20 times more a piece of cake than Fred. Yeah, not really. Not really. You're just very hot right now. You know what it is, Howard? It. It's all projection. You project all your bad stuff onto him. Right. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, no, she's a psychologist. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you didn't know Fred, how start playing that Twilight Zone music. Yeah, Fred, play the Twilight Zone music. Hey, pal. Oh, why me. don't you hang up on these two guys and let Fred and I just tell, talk about it? I like these two guys. I know. Well, they're right up your alley. She didn't right. mind Carlin's when it was dial a date time, though, did she? No, she didn't mind calling in for that. <laughs> no, nope, didn't mind it at all. You're she? right. You're right, Keep talking. Oh, God. It's like, you know what it is? It's like, this guy's like, you know, uh, guy's like, you know uh, a bottom sucker. Today. All right. You know what? I'm going to... He's never I'm gonna, done gonna, anything in his... This guy's uh, never done anything in his life. This is his claim to fame. Tell me enjoy something. Enjoy your 15 minutes. What enjoy your five minutes. What could Fred... Not even that. I'll guarantee you... And you're fucking off with somebody else. The argument was about Fred not being a, uh, uh, happy with the amount of time Allison spent with him. And I, I think that's How legitimate. How could be talking about that at dinner with Jack and <laughs> Nancy? Happened. You're so long, it's not even funny. That couldn't mm -hmm. possibly have come up. That's something you can delay. Hey, Sean, you there? Yeah. Who's what did Sean? you? This guy, this guy saw Fred and Allison arguing somewhere else. Uh-oh. Yeah, one time I was in uh, the Tomaqua in Brooklyn. Yeah. And, uh, I've never been there. I've never even been there, idiot. <laughs> what was that? I've never even been there, idiot. You were, you were never at the Tomacorn no. in Brooklyn? No, idiot. No. Sorry. Idiot Fred, number were you at the three, sorry. Brooklyn? I've been there twice, but you want to know something? My wife has been there neither time, so... Idiot number three, sorry. Oh, wait a second. Fred, how well, would you want to know I would, I would admit to it if I if I were arguing with my wife in, a, in another place, but you want to know something? She wasn't there, and I've never had an argument with yeah, anybody. Yeah, so idiot number three, What did sorry. you see there, Sean? Okay, if, if, Are you sure it was I'm me? an idiot... Then, then he must have been arguing with somebody else. And when yeah. I asked him for an autograph, he said, now's not the time. Yeah, he was practicing, nah, practice fighting with strange broads. I don't think so. <laughs> he warms no, no. up. 
Are you, are you for Fred, real? It was the That's night. idiot number three. Right? Are you for real? Fred, it, was the night. it was the night that the white rapper was playing. The what? The white rapper. I was uh, never there when a white rapper was I, there. I, 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 don't, I, I, don't I think this is a case of mistaken identity. I, I don't think so at all. Get rid of that caller. He's not. Uh, you're idiot number one. No, thank you. I'm no idiot, dear. You're, idiot you're, you're back to drip baby. number one. I, I tell the truth idiot. what I saw, my hey, dear. Hey, the guy saw it, man. What do you want from Why is he an idiot? Yeah, don't shoot the messenger. You got to go to Dad, don't shoot the messenger. Do do, yeah, honey. don't shoot the messenger. Why isn't Fred the idiot? He's the one you were fighting with. Fred's the one you were fighting with. Why aren't you calling him? I like how this guy depersonalizes it. I bet you, don't you think you were right in the argument, Allison? So maybe Fred was being the idiot. Everybody always thinks they're right in the argument. Right. That's and, why you have an And argument. you're always right in any argument. I, you know, of course. Thinking, you know, how foolish of me to forget. I'm sitting here talking to people who never argue. You're right. I don't argue with no restaurant know, in front of all the fans. And you tell you that. Two idiots that are well, the I, especially I, in Jackie and Nancy's I wedding. I wish I was as perfect as you. I wish I was as perfect as you. Fred, you're acting irrational. Yeah, I'm acting irrational. Don't even tag them, because right now you're, you're acting you're, irrational. You're, you're the one that just playing. You're just playing a goof. You don't think getting you, up you in the middle of a restaurant is irrational? That's irrational. W what's what's rational about any argument? No, what's I rational? admit to that. No, I admit to that 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 was a bad, unfortunate incident, and yeah. I wasn't thinking clearly. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You that. act irrational. Well, right now, now I'm very clear. I want I'm feeling. I want I'm out. Said. Was this something that was started before you guys went out, and it just. Up again. It was just something that happened, you know. It's how did it happen it so quick? Yeah, I just don't understand how you just get that So furious. It was fast and furious. Yeah. Wow. You know, you know, you know. When Fred and I fight, we just like we got to make a scene. And not only that, we had we had the table that was the spotlight. Right. You're up on a mm -hmm. level. Go up on a level that everybody's looking this way because we're right behind. The, we're right. You tell them, honey. He's the uh, guy in the uh, public limelight. You can't do that to him. Use your head. All right. That's all I'm going to say about it. To both of you, use now, your head. Could you uh, uh, grant us that, that you guys shouldn't be doing this in Robin, public I so would that you get calls admit like that it Robin? Was the wrong thing to do. Do you two think you can behave time. yourselves in public now? I don't know. Maybe you two, maybe you. Maybe you ought to stay home. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Allison, and thank you. Um, uh, I won't give Peter, you Peter, you have something brought in. Yeah. I got a name for this guy, Dickhead. <laughs> hey, my, name, my name's Mike, and I'll come Dickhead. and meet you somewhere, slap you around. Uh, oh, I'd love to slap Madison you around. Madison Avenue. I'd love to slap you around. You want to meet me out far today? We'll be out with Gary. I'll I come over and see you. Slap you around. You're going to come down here and slap him around? Definitely. I'll 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 see you when you know. I'll pull you by that large tree. Yeah, Saturday. Pussy, why don't you come down here? No penis, baby. Don't do that. Pussy, why don't you come down here? that was the other guest, Bob. Pussy, I got one. Hey, pussy. Pussy uh, boy. Uh, oh, listen to this. Pussy uh, boy. I think you two ought to go home pussy and argue. Pussy boy. Yeah. They're just going out of here, pussy they're boy. They're projecting out on me, Howard, because... Right. Yeah, thank God for you. Now they don't have to fight with each other. Yeah, they're fighting with you. Yeah. All right, thank I'd you. I'd love to fight with him. All right, take it easy. All right. I'll take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Things going well in the Norris household. And here, too. Right in the Stern household. <laughs> hmm? You don't hear any reports of me fighting with no. my wife. You're on your no, you tell us. You don't wait for somebody to call in. No, nah, I'll be the first one. If I have a fight in public, I'll tell you about it. I just don't do that. I don't go there. Well, you're a perfect person, Howard. You Evidently. never make a mistake in your life. Oh, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> but he shares. Jackie, how funny was it? I we missed the entire thing. And that is the absolute. That'd be funny coming back to your table. So. And seeing no Fred. I mean, when did you say, Well, where's Fred? <sighs> And then, it, you know, this Fred becomes a whole topic of conversation yeah. that night and ruins everyone's party. I mean, I just well, want to I'm know, like, they're sitting that. there. And I can't apologize enough to Jackie. Right. I owe you no apology. I owe her no apology. You, don't, you do owe me an apology. apology. No, I don't. You work on this oh, show. What? You should behave yourself in public. Oh, please. I got dogs that behave themselves please. better than you. Please. When does, does somebody don't say, even, don't where's Fred? Don't when, how does that. it come it up? Even, what? The big question is, what happened when Fred's food came and who got stuck at the bell? Yeah, who paid, Jackie? Well, it was our treat to begin with, and Fred's steak is sitting in my refrigerator waiting. Did you take it home? Of course. That's funny. <laughs> $450 for a steak. <laughs> when did you notice that Fred was gone? Uh, got halfway back to the home table. in the limo. Halfway <laughs> home in the limo. Oh, he came back to what, the are you table. kidding? His wife's sitting at the table is crying. crying? Yeah, of course. What's going on? Yeah, she was wrecked. Ugh. And this, so the rest of the night is Jackie and Nancy on their wedding anniversary con consoling Allison. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Very like, thoughtful. This is very thoughtful. And it's got to be embarrassing. Like, this is very thoughtful. Like, this isn't embarrassing. Well, we have to get these things out of the open. i got to teach you. Your parents never told you how to no, behave no, in public. No, you're not teaching. My job. Oh, you're not, if you were seriously you. trying to you teach anybody anything, it wouldn't be on the air. You never contribute to the embarrassment of anyone else on this show. Not to that degree, right? Oh, uh -huh. how do you know what degree it was? Not to that degree. How no. do you know what the degree was? I'll take it like a man. Please. 
Stop whining like Why don't a girl. You bend over and take it like a woman. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there he is. A little, a little peek into the Fred Norris yeah, there you life. Go. We always wanted that peak. There you go. Yep. You got it. Aren't Seems like happy? things are destructing aren't, nicely. Aren't you happy? <laughs> Jackie will have to talk off to you. Jackie's not. Jackie's He's going to be a clam and yeah. not tell us anything. Yeah. Yeah. Sit on his I, back and I, twist I, his arm. Shut up. <laughs> I told you everything I know. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Although I got to admit, this has been the longest stretch Fred has gone without doing a Timmy joke. <laughs> yeah. Hey, your pain doesn't matter to Fred. Uh, we're going to compare a marriage to a cat. <laughs> hey, to Jackie, those are like kids. There you go. Nancy's styling again. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, I stand corrected. Would you give me a little warning before you go to commercial? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, who can no, you know, you guys don't have to worry. I'm getting out of here. No, uh, no, I'll, finish, I'll finish the show today and I'm out of here. What well, are you, you mean like every day? I am. I'm serious. I'll get out of here. Oh, I am going to get out of here. Oh, don't be a Hope baby. you had a good time. Hope it was worth it to you. Okay. What is wrong with you? Uh, nothing's wrong with me now. <laughs> oh. You know, remember the last time you walked out how foolish you felt? Well, Would you yes, stop I'm not gonna and feel consider something time. for a change? Oh, I'm not Come on, foolish. pal. Don't pal me. Go over there and kiss him. Come on. Come over here. <laughs> don't, Come don't, sit on my lap. Don't even pal me. Don't Come even on, pal. No, don't even he needs like a big a hug from you. Come on, just hug. No. <laughs> You're mad at your wife. Don't be mad at your pal. We didn't I'm do anything. I'm not mad at her anymore. If you're mad at me, you'd be mad at me for setting you up with her. No. I right. told you she was no good. Oh, Please. stop it. Please. I love your wife. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Please. You'll work it, it out. It is going to be fine with her. So what are you doing? You're quitting the show? Yep. You've quit? I'm quitting. I don't believe it. No, Wait, don't I you have a contract? It. You can't just walk out. Yeah, you got to stay. Don't let me out. Where are you going to go? I don't know. I don't care. Don't let it be your business. All right. Is he serious? I don't know what's him. I don't know. That's I hope it's, it's not true. It's, it's a step I'll over the line. You. I told you it was a step over the line. Uh, if you don't want to listen to that, well, then so be it. Well, I miss you. Well, sure. I'll miss you a lot. You're a good guy. Okay. It's nice okay. knowing you. Yeah, well, I was, a, I was a good guy. It was, you know, it was a fun run. Good. Jeez. I guess we should stop taking phone calls on this show. <laughs> Your friend's off limits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to miss him like I miss Billy West. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We knew that. I, I just can't believe You Don't be silly. Think about it. Think about what you're saying. I'm thinking. Think it through. I'm thinking. Now you think. Well, I've thought it through. I don't mind having you here. I like you. No, you, don't mind, <laughs> yeah. you don't mind having me gone either, so there you go. Oh, oh yes, I would. I'd be very upset if you left. Yeah, sure. You know what? You can't do enough for some people. Guys, don't even... Don't even you talk. can't do enough. Hmm. Who has been more loyal to Fred? Who has, no, who has been more loyal to and this never, show than me? Who has thought more of Fred? Well, who's thought more of you guys than me? It's like if you guys want to go yeah, that you route. You want to go. You want to go that way. I mean, it's that's, a that's family. Fine. You're not going to leave your wife. You're going to leave us. <laughs> well, a family member does not do that to another family. Oh, screw you and you, what a family oh, okay. member does. Well, you're, you're right. You're right. Ma maybe I don't know what families do. Who maybe in your family is different. Of families. Maybe your family is different. And I love that everything you do to everybody else can't be done to you. That's yeah, get with it. Please. Stop being so sensitive. Come on. How many jokes about my father's hand have you written, Fred? I, oh, I don't not, have a record. Funny. I don't have a record. Yeah, but, oh, that doesn't cause any problem at all. You have mm -hmm. no problem doing that, and it causes no pain. Well, Robin, then I'm very, I'm very no, sorry. No, don't apologize, because that's what we do here. But don't declare yourself off limits. No, I can apologize, can I? No. I can't apologize. It doesn't matter. I'm saying you can't declare yourself off limits after doing it. I'm not saying that I'm off limits, but when I say something, there's nothing I over the some, line here. I can do what I want. If I don't want to, if I don't want to go here. there, I don't have to go there. There is nothing over the line here. Oh, okay. Right. Nothing. Well, guess what? We do everything to each other. What? Well, then continue without me. <laughs> oh, stop that. It's oh, he just that. woke up to that fact. Continue <laughs> without me. <laughs> but I love you. I don't want to continue without you. Uh, Stop you, it. You, I'll, never, it. I'll never be able to go on. What? I can't I'm sure believe you, you. Please. You've been waiting for the day. No. no that's wrong. You're, out, you're out being an outrage. You're, you're being an outrage. You've been waiting for the day, my friend. Oh, you, you finally got your wish. Oh, oh, that's sad. That you would even think that of me. Thank you. He couldn't believe that. You know, this is a lie he can't believe himself. Oh, you think so? Well, you got to decide to do what you want to do. You're just having a little fun. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's continue the news, Robin. <laughs> get, get to something good. Get to something happy. Oh, yeah, that'll be easy. <laughs> hey, I just want to know why you were fighting with your wife. <laughs>
None of your business. How's that? Well, you didn't tell me. We never got into that. We didn't even press you on that. Oh, please. We didn't. Back, play back your... What were your argument about? Oh, well, of course we know that Fred's a dog and he can't even listen, you know. Please. Oh. You're insane. You're insane. What have they uh, and, not yeah, said I'm, about I'm me? I'm insane. I wonder why. I can't believe it. I gotta just say one thing. What? <laughs> what? I am so glad that I am not Ganji with that camera. <laughs> Huh? Fred's got to go in front of Ganji. That's it. I hope it'll fit. Here we go. I hope that camera's going to fit in Ganji's butt. Because that's where it's going. Mm. That's exactly oh, where it's going. Man. No, it's not. Yeah. You would never do that. You would oh, never I lose wouldn't. control again. Oh, guess what? Wow. It's, it's, a, new, it's a new effing era <laughs> <laughs> for me. Then. Uh, Fred, should we call someone? <laughs> yeah. Crisis intervention? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got a problem. Call someone who gives a crap. Oh, uh, come we on. We need a count. Come on, pal. Our family is in terrible need of counseling. Just apologize to me and it'll be all over. <laughs> <laughs> Those snowballs from hell should be coming any day now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you said a lot of things, but that's the most important. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how far uh, Oh, man. All right, what else is in the news? I don't have time for this. Yeah, I know. I, you know, I'll forget that. I'll talk about this a little As much later. fun as this is, I got to go. <laughs> Confrontation. It really should involve negotiation. Hmm. There are already businesses. We'll just take. Let me see here. What's the rhymes with confrontation? Negotiation. <laughs> All right. I'll use those two words. Fred makes more sense, right, Fred? <laughs> Whatever you say. All right. Well, that's all I have to say today. All right. Thank you, Fred and Robin. I, Fred, I certainly hope it's not your last day. I would beg of you to stay. I love you, Fred. Jackie loves you. Jackie's a pal. Right. You don't feel I am. No, you're not. All right. Robin is a pal, though. Robin? Well, yeah. All right. But I'm not a pal. You're not being a pal. No. Not when you do that. All right. Well. Couldn't you say you're sorry? I am so sorry for it. <laughs> it sounded sincere. When, no, when I can't do any better than that. better take, no. call Benny. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not doing a better take. That's as good as it gets. Okay. <laughs> and I'm really not sorry. I don't feel I did I, anything I wrong. I know you don't think. I don't think I did anything you wrong. You something you're entitled to feel the way you feel, okay. and I'm entitled to the way to feel the way you feel. All right. You thank you. Thank you. If I've been so bad to you, I, I certainly... And I've been so it. bad here, too, that you... I don't think you've been bad at all. I'm not I complaining. I so. Can't we stay together even with our differences? Not, if, not according to Fred. He's leaving. Can't we all just... If Howard out? never suggests leaving you, Fred... <laughs> I've never once said to him, leave. No. Jackie, Penhouse, Joe Page, Martin, get you hundreds of... You have to solve this, Howard. You I can't solve it. Fred has to solve it. I am not asking Fred to do anything. No, he doesn't have to do anything. Jackie. Right. Thank you. Ugh. Doesn't have to do anything. Jackie's the trouble. Fred's jealous of him. Yeah, I love Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, I know you do. I see how you so love him. Good. Jackie, Penn, that's why he's always asking for all I your love money. Everybody on this show, he loves you so much. He asks for your money when he comes in the door. Oh, Whatever. No. Why is Fred, why is Fred get the Whatever money? Jackie Start. does. Jackie, and I have to sit there and I, and I believe that everything you tell me right now is the truth. Uh, well, you don't have to believe it. I'm telling you, it's the truth. I don't lie. This has nothing to do with Jackie. Sure it is. I'll displace all the anger on Jackie. <laughs> of course. Get it off me. Of course, but it's not working. Right, Jack. Jackie Penhouse, Joe Page, Martin, get hundreds of... interrupt my plug. Get filthy jokes on CD or cassette or the hysterical Sergeant Pecker, $12 plus $4 shipping and handling. Super special, buy two, get one free. Call 1-800-323-KING, Friday night, May 3rd, at the Troy Savings Bank Music Hall in Troy, New York. For information and Joke Land's web address, call 516-922-WINE. Boy Gary Fafa Fui will be the guest ring announcer for Extreme Fighting on Pay-Per-View this Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Call your local cable operator for more information. If you're planning a wedding or party and you need a disc jockey, call Scott the Engineer's Rocket Entertainment at 718-BAG-5040. And that's the way it goes. No. Another show under our belt. I loved it. Leaving on a high note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was good. We should play the last hour of the show to open up the show tomorrow. <laughs> I love it. Uh. And we'll see you tomorrow.